so today I am making, I just received my new Dutch gear, uh, Dutch wear gear, excuse me. So these, this is a wasp and this is a titanium hook. I've already done another video of how to put it on, but I'm going to try to do a, the quick video here, the quick version of the video. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is tilt the camera down so that you can see kind of how I'm working here. I've got a makeshift luggage scale, but I don't need that. I just need the measuring tape on the end of it. So we're going to do this pretty quickly. Uh, basically, I need to first uh, fray the end or, or whatever they call it, get the end tattered. I don't know what they call it, but basically you want to make sure that you pull the pieces of line away from each other. So we did that. Usually you want to do it about an inch. I think I do mine about a half an inch. And then from here, I want to measure uh, with... Um, Oh, it's, you want a four, four inches, but from the end, we're going to do five inches because of the fray. So there's five inches. Mark that bad boy, bing, bing, bing. And then from there, you want to go to 11 inches. So there's 11 inches. Mark that bad boy. And then we'll go from here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking a tool. This tool is the things that hang those ceiling panels. Take this tool, and you're going to go to your 11-inch mark, which is here. Kind of push it together a little bit. I'm doing this very quickly. I'm going to push it together. And then we're going to take this end and pull it through. The short end. And stick it in here. And clamp it back down again. It's a little wide. I didn't need to do it that wide. And then you want to kind of push, pull it that way. And pull it through this little circle here. But before you do that, you want to put your hook on there. Duh. I, you know, I forget this every single time. I forget to put the hardware on to... There you go. Now let's stick that bad boy back in there. Alright. So we've got the hook on. We've got it ready to pull through here. Then you want to go just past this other piece here, the 5 inch mark. There it is, located right there. And then you're going to actually push that open and come through the back side of it, right through the middle. You want to try to keep it right in the middle so that way you're not, you have, you have an equal strength on both sides. There it is. See, as you can see, it's right in the middle there. Then I'm going to take the long end, the mine is about six feet long, and put it in there and pull it through. And you want to pull it all the way through. So once you get it, you can disconnect it and you pull the rope all the way through. And then what you'll see here is you want to actually take this and tight, start tightening it down and pulling this at the same time. So there's no twist in there. And it should lock into place. So now you have a pretty big loop, about a three inch loop with your Dutch hook. And then what we're going to do is basically bury this line. So we have this little tail here. We're going to stretch it out, bury it. So we want to go about an inch past it. So I will start it here. And we're going to stick this. It's good to loosen the cord up a little bit because it is kind of tough to get it through. And it's also tough to do it down low. So I'm probably going to have to come up by my eyes and take it off camera for a quick second just to get it started. But we'll see. So you basically go in to the middle of this, almost like you're, you're putting it through the middle of a tube. It's tough to get started sometimes. You don't want it to poke out the other side. That's the secret. Make sure you have a straight, your line is straight. Ah, dropped it. <laughs> All right, here we go. We get back in there again. I'm gonna bring it up on my eyes off camera for just for a second to get started. And then that way I can uh, get it back on camera as I'm working it through. There you go. See? Got it started now. You just want to keep loosening this stuff up a little bit as you're pushing it through. Loosen it up. And then once you get it, usually it's pretty easy to keep going as long as you keep the rope bunched together. Hard to work with these big sausage fingers I've got, so all right. And just when you feel like you're not getting any progress on the thing, you make it all the way to the end. So 
What you want to do is you want to come out as close to this little knot as you possibly can. So I'm going to come out right there we go. Just make sure I keep straight here. I'm going to take the short little tail that we have, put it through here, and we're going to pull it all the way back through the tube. At least that's the plan. It's tough to get it started at first, so once you get it started, uh, stay with it, wiggle it, jiggle it, pull it. But you want to pull it kind of back like this, and then push through here. So what I'm making right now, this is actually how I am connecting the Dutch hook to my cord for my ridge line for my tarp. You just keep kind of wiggling it, pulling it, wiggling it, pulling it, it should come through. There it is. So we, now we have our tail that has gone through the bunched end and make sure everything's tight. And then you, what you want to do is slide the berry, they call it, down towards that little thing. You wait, you'll watch it disappear here. That's when you know you've done something right. So here we go. I do have this little tiny tail. I'll cut that off later. So there you have it. Now, the Dutch hook is connected to your lashet. Then the other side, what I'm going to do is take this wasp, and I'm going to start here. Let's see how. I think I'm starting in the tail. I'm not. I'm starting in the head. So I'll put this through the little hole in the head. And then I'll come back through the hole in the tail. Sometimes it wants to work and sometimes it doesn't, of course. There we go. Alright, so we got it through and I want to give it a little bit more room to put this down here. Out of my way for now. Alright, so now what we're going to do is I've got this frayed end and I want to bury it. So I'm going to take my tool, which I heard fling around here somewhere. Here it is. We're going to come up to, let's see how, how far did I bury it on this, uh, this one. So on this one that I've already done, I buried it from here to here. So I'm going to do about the same thing. So let's just see. Here to here. So you can mark it. I'm not going to mark this particular one. I'm just going to crunch it there. And then I'm going to come in a few inches past it. We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to run your line through it. Just like a tube. Run this line right up the middle. And this, this is just one of those things that you hang a... Uh, ceiling tiles with in grocery stores or usually industrial places. So a lot easier to do off camera but basically you'll just run it through and then pull this line through and you'll end up with what I just showed you here wherever it went. You'll end up with this. Now make sure you don't lose this little this little loop on the end so you want to make sure that stays out so you want to put either a piece of fishing line through it or I usually take the other end of of this uh, this ceiling grade stuff and put it right through there and make sure that I don't lose the little loop. But that's pretty much the finished product. Then you've got your Dutch hook on one end, your wasp on the other. Got your Dutch hook on one end, your wasp on the other, and then I've already shown another video of how you actually uh, make it. So this side that has the little fixed end on it here will be connected through your tarp and then, uh, you know, here. Actually, here's one right here. I'll just show you. So this end goes through the tarp. like this, D-ring, tarp, through. Then you want to pull it where it comes to your wasp. And then you take it and you go through the little mouth there. It's hard to do this. I'm holding one in with my foot, but here. Through the, through the mouth, around the antenna, and then back around the wing. And then as you do that, it will keep your tarp taut. And then the other side of this, the little Dutch hook will simply go around a tree and this is the, about the easiest way I could think of. I mean this thing is so light and tiny, so tiny that when I dumped it out of the bag it fell on the floor and I couldn't find the daggone thing. Anyway, it's pretty simple. You take your tree, you wrap it around, and you clip it on.
and it's as easy as that. Then you just tighten it up. Boom. Done. All right. Thanks for the watch. Make sure you subscribe and like. I'm trying to build this channel, so if you subscribe to the channel and like the videos, then I can produce more videos, and it makes gives me motivation to get them out a little quicker. Uh, so here's some Dutch bling for you. Thanks, guys.